Hi Year 11, I'm Mrs Lloyd and I'm here to discuss Mrs Lyons from Willie Russell's Blood Brothers. Um, arguably one of the most important characters in the play, Mrs Lyons represents the middle class. She's wealthy but doesn't need to work herself, which in a way enhances the disparity between the middle and the working classes. As she's got all of this money and all of this power but she doesn't even have to work because she completely relies on her husband's income because he's got a good job. Um, she's the complete opposite to Mrs Johnston who is working class and she doesn't have a lot of money and she's got lots of children to feed. Although she's a housewife the audience learns that she doesn't even have to do the housework herself because she hires Mrs Johnston as her cleaner. Um, she's presented by Russell as a quite a cold character and she finds it difficult to be affectionate to other people. Her husband spends long periods of time away for work and this makes her even more lonely because they're unable to have children. So she's alone all of the time. After hiring Mrs Johnston, Mrs Lyons finds out that Mrs Johnston is expecting twins and she can't even afford to feed the seven children that she's already got, let alone an eighth and definitely not a ninth child. Um, Russell shows here Mrs Lyons' lack of affection for other people. Mrs Lyons convinces a poor but loving Mrs Johnston to essentially sell one of her babies to Mrs Lyons, suggesting the middle class believe that money can buy anything, even love. In her spare time, Mrs Johnston shops and she spends lots of money on expensive and essentially useless things. Um, she brings home a pair of new shoes and she puts them on the table. Both Mrs Lyons and the audience at this point learn that Mrs Johnston is superstitious. When Mrs Johnston seems to be having regrets about selling Edward to Mrs Lyons, um, she cruelly discards her, she fires her and she's no longer her cleaner. This means that Mrs Johnston cannot see Edward, who is her son. Um, Mrs Lyons convinces Mrs Johnston that if the two boys meet and learn that they are brothers, both of the boys will die. Here she's manipulating a very vulnerable Mrs Johnston. Russell here is showing that Mrs Lyons' status, her education, all of these things give her the upper hand in this situation. It allows her to use the power that she's got to get what she wants from the poorer, less educated people such as Mrs Johnston. Mrs Lyons becomes an overprotective mother. Um, she's always anxious about Edward. She tries to keep him away from Mickey. She tries to keep him in the house. She keeps him in the garden. And she says that she doesn't want him mixing with boys like that. And she reinforces that idea that the middle class believe that the working class are below them. Another character that reinforces this idea is the police officer. When the boys get into trouble with the police and the same officer visits both families, he speaks to Mrs Johnston um, in quite a, quite a cruel way. He's very judgmental of her and her parenting skills and he tells them that they'll end up back in court. However, when he visit, visits the Lyons' house, he takes his hat off, he has a drink with Mr Lyons and refers to it as a prank and suggests that, he, that they dock Edward's pocket money instead of the serious punishments that are um, employed with the Johnsons. Um, Mrs Lyons chooses to send Edward to boarding school later in the play, showing that her position in middle class society can really influence Edward's future. Um, it's said that there are talks of Oxbridge for him, so that shows that money provides opportunities for the middle class. So it's not about ability in school, but rather which school you go to, which school you can afford to go to that affects your future. Um, ironically, later in the play, Mrs Lyons is shown to be overcome by anxieties and superstitions because of all these secrets that she's been keeping all of her life. And this is something which she once used against Mrs Johnston to manipulate her. Um, Russell suggests that her actions when she attacks Mrs Johnston with a kitchen knife are the result of a lonely and loveless life. So despite having a husband and a child, Mrs Lyons is a lonely character. And that is because, as we've said, Mr Lyons worked away from home a lot. And although Edward was brought up as her son, there is a lot of strain on that relationship. And she tries so hard to keep hold of him that actually ends up pushing him away. Um, because of this, 
she's quite um, angry and full of hate for the Johnsons. So when she learns that Edwin and Linda are having an affair, she is the one to tell Mickey. However, she does this out of spite and out of hate and to cause trouble. She definitely doesn't do it for Mickey's sake. Due to this, she does inadvertently cause the death of both Mickey and Edward and she ends up fulfilling her own once made up superstition which she told Mrs Johnson at the beginning of the play and that was that if both boys meet and learn that they are brothers they will both die. 